better end of our weekend. We actually reached a high of 83 degrees here in Lafayette, mostly reaching into the lower and mid 80s across the area. Taking a look at our satellite and radar, most of the rain stayed off to the east, especially the northeastern part of the state. We were lucky enough to stay dry. A couple areas did see a spotty shower or two, but we're not really dealing with anything substantial but there is still a chance for an isolated shower for at least the first part of our night. Taking a look at our future cast Monday at, or tonight at midnight, there's still that chance for a spotty shower for our northeastern counties and may swipe through. But other than that, much of the area is staying dry. And we'll have a dry start to your Monday morning. Once again, there's still a chance for an isolated shower early, but rain chances continue for at least the first part of the week. And I'm also tracking war even warmer temperatures also for the first part of the week. Taking a look at downtown Lafayette, beautiful night, 75 degrees, seeing clear skies, winds coming from our south at 5 miles per hour. Tonight we're going to fall into the upper 60s across the area. 68 for Monticello and Winnemac, also for Logansport, 69 and Delphi. Closer to 70 degrees down in Frankfort and also for Crawfordsville and Covington. Here in the Lafayette area, we will have a low of 69 degrees, partly cloudy skies. And overall, we're going to have a pleasant overnight period with winds coming from the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. To start off the day tomorrow, once again, we're going to start off dry with partly cloudy skies, 70 degrees. Climbing up to 79 by noon, still staying dry. But once we get to the afternoon hours, we have a chance for a scattered for thunderstorms, scattered thunderstorms with temperatures up in the upper 80s. Look at these highs tomorrow. 86 for Monticello, 86 Remington, 85 for Fowler. Here in Lafayette, a high of 87 degrees, 86 degrees for Attica. Taking a look at our future cast once again, having a dry start to Monday. But once we get into lunch hour, that's when we start to see the chances for a shower or thunderstorm to pop in and they'll push through the area during the afternoon and even into the evening and overnight period. So we're looking at a soggy overnight period Monday into Tuesday morning, but it appears Tuesday morning we're going to stay dry to start off for Tuesday. Looking at our highs Tuesday, we're looking at temperatures once again in the mid 80s across the entire area, 87 degrees for a high in Crawfordsville. Now looking at the next seven days, still dealing with quite a bit of rain for the first part of the week, but temperatures once again in the mid to upper 80s, a high of 87 for Monday, 86 Tuesday, staying at 86 for Wednesday. But notice temperatures just dip down a little bit around Thursday and Friday, and that's because there's going to be a cold front that pushes through the area, and that's going to allow all that rain to at least take a take a brief break, and then we're going to see high pressure move in Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and that's going to allow temperatures to stay cooler and also the rain to stay away. Get a little break from that rain finally.